Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vashaka Thakur. Metaverse is all set to bring a revolution in various industries as its influence extends far beyond gaming. According to a report by the World Economic Forum, Metaverse is projected to become an $800 billion market by 2024. Simultaneously, NVIDIA's quarter one earnings report beat analysts' expectations and history suggests AI tokens could be set for an impressive rally. Also, virtual digital asset market is witnessing gains as investors turn optimistic on Ether ETFs. So, to discuss more about the current trends in the Web3 sector, I am joined by Mr. Salman Halavi, the founder of Meta Designers. Welcome to 3 Doro TV, Mr. Salman. Hello there. Thank you for having me. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. So, starting with uh, your opening remarks on Metaverse and the key trends that are shaping the virtual worlds. Okay. So, uh, as we know, Vishaka, we are currently uh, in a stage where it is kind of transitionary. Uh, a lot of people within the Web3 space are looking at it. They're asking themselves, are we in Web3? Are we in Web2.5? Are we going to go to Web4? Did we make a big mistake? uh the first time uh and and in short this period that we're at it's going to be a transitionary phase so we're going to see a lot of different trends a lot of things that are going to influence uh the way this space keeps on growing uh specifically when we look at ai and the growth of ai it took a little bit of the spotlight from immersive technologies and the metaverse but at the end of the day it's going to be uh, pushing a lot of people back in there once we get the the Gen AI uh, superpowers that we get as builders. Uh, that's going to help us build a lot faster, a lot more efficiently. Uh, AI is going to be also uh, powering cybersecurity, which was once a little bit of an issue uh, when we looked at the metaverse. All right. So, uh, you, so you spoke about how AI is empowering the metaverse technology and almost every sector is foring into metaverse, whether it is education, healthcare, real estate or entertainment. So if we talk particularly about the real estate sector or the digital land grab in 2021, when the Web3 sector was booming, we saw digital land real estate prices rising 700%. So how do you anticipate the market for virtual land evolving? Um, I think this time it's going to be a lot different. Um, what we had the time to learn over the past uh, two, three years since the boom happened, uh, since the 700% uh, percent surge was that the metaverse and immersive technology space is going to be a lot less about going all in on the virtual and more about the digital experience that we're trying to create for, for our audience, for our consumers. It's, it's going to be more about how to make this virtual uh, world that we're trying to be more accessible. Uh, and at the end of the day, what I believe personally that Web3 and immersive technologies is going towards is something more upon the realms of mixed reality uh, rather than the all immersive VR uh, space that was previously thought to, to be the future. So can we see virtual land sale rise in the future? Personally, I don't uh, think so, no, because uh, the way everything is going and the way everything is shifting is on something that is more uh, digital. So you've got more focus on the real world. You've got more focus on bringing that virtual world on top of our real world, rather than immersing ourselves full time into the digital world, which is what would make buying digital land useful. So I see that trend declining further and further, unless these platforms and these metaverses find a way to uh, align the virtual worlds on top of the physical. Uh, in some way, shape or form. Now, where these trends are going to continue rising is at the level of experiences that are more on the virtual end and that can be fully virtual, uh, such as with gaming, such as with uh, other experiences wherein brands are creating their own metaverse spaces, such as what was happening in the big trend with Roblox, wherein brands were building on Roblox so that they could gain the next generation of gamers and so on and so forth. Uh, as loyal customers. So that is also one other side to look at things. Uh, education is also somewhere where uh, worlds can start becoming much more immersive. Uh, 
immersion helps a lot there as well. Uh, but the overall trend I'm seeing is a lot more digital and a lot less uh, fully digital. So fashion industry is not behind in the race. And how do you see fashion brands such as Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana embracing virtual environments to connect with consumers and drive innovation in the digital fashion space? Um, what we're headed towards currently is what I like to call the uh, era of the consumer, the people's era. So a lot of what these brands are going to be working on and a lot of what they already are working on. I mean, Louis Vuitton already worked on something within the realms of, uh, of AR, uh, extended reality, uh, that was something aimed at the consumer. And I think that's what a lot of other brands are going to start working on. Uh, we had the examples during the 2021, 2022 era, wherein uh, Forever 21 had their uh, store uh, in the central land. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger also uh, made their debut uh, on the metaverse and I believe the brands that are going to win this era are the brands that are going to know how to combine this sort of digital approach with a tailor-made experience for their audience and addition, additionally to that I mean we often speak about trends but we don't speak about the tech enough um, what the rise of a blockchain, for example, is going to do for these uh, fashion brands and uh, clothing in specific is it's going to allow for more authentication because you know how large the, the, the fake brand market is uh, around the world. Where, where in tech rises and you've got these NFCs and you've got the blockchain and you've got all of that, uh, with the rise of tech, uh, I think authentication is going to be uh, a lot more easy to do and in addition to that it's going to become uh, a lot more personalized uh, let's say you're gonna buy a, a t-shirt from Lacoste for example Apollo what I can do is there's gonna be an NFC tag I scan it I see oh okay it's authentic I get an NFT uh, maybe it has my name on it right if I'm one of their big clients so this this authentication and also this tailor-made approach for clients is going to be the future of what's going to be uh, the biggest brands, right? And this works for both conglomerates and it also works for the niche uh, brands out there that are just going into the space. Wow, I think that's quite interesting. So now uh, coming to an important question, what is your take on cryptocurrency market and its relation with Metaverse gaming tokens? Um, in terms of how the crypto market has been influenced over the past uh, decade uh, now, um, what happens typically speaking is when the big cryptocurrencies boom, the entire market ends up booming because uh, there is a lot of uh, dominance uh, in terms of the space. So I believe that while the dominance of Ethereum is not as high as that of Bitcoin, it could cause a rise in the overall market and it could lead to a rise in the uh, in the Web3 and Metaverse uh, tokens, uh, especially with the fact that Ethereum was sort of the go to uh, cryptocurrency uh, with the NFT boom that happened a few years ago. All right. So coming to AI, as per NVIDIA's latest earnings report, NVIDIA's revenue soared 262% on record AI chip demand. And a trend has been observed that, you know, AI coins tend to gain momentum after NVIDIA's earnings report. So will the momentum continue and AI tokens rally after NVIDIA's impressive quarter one 2024 report? Huh, that's that's a tough one. It's it's a pretty controversial topic to talk about, just like the one about the, the cryptocurrencies, because uh, the way I see it and the way a lot of people uh, see it is we're headed towards an inevitable bubble. It's about time. Everything is way too inflated. And uh, when we talk about the stock market, we're talking about stock prices that are repeatedly reaching all time highs again and again and again and again. And it gets you thinking, when is this bubble going to burst? Um, another key indicator in the market is that uh, Berkshire Hathaway, uh, led by Warren Buffett, and a lot of the big investors, the, the whales and the market, 
are all uh, backing out of their positions, taking in as much cash as they can uh, from their investments and selling their positions currently uh, in companies. Uh, and, and that comes to show you that we're headed towards something and that the reset is not too far away. Uh, now, to determine when and what will influence that reset, I don't think that is something that is humanly possible, uh, but we're headed toward it and it's inevitable. It might happen by the end of the year, it might happen early next year, but we're headed towards that. So what I'm gonna say in short is, over the short term, these stock prices could continue to rise, but I don't see them rising uh, anywhere uh, throughout the long term up until that reset happens and then we can see a rise again. All right. Thank you so much for being on 3 Dota TV and sharing your views and knowledge with our viewers. It was really, really great having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vishaka. Thank you to everybody. And uh, it's always a pleasure to be on 3.0 TV. Thank you so much. So this was Mr. Salman Halavi, the founder of Meta Designers, who shared insights on the current trends of Metaverse and Web3. Keep watching 3 Dotto TV for more such interviews. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel. And for interesting updates from the Web3 space, log on to our website www.3verstv.io or scan the QR code.